Hello everybody, I am Syed on Mass Online. Today I will be dealing with random variables. Before I move on to random variables, let me give you the basic definition of probability. The probability of an event where E represents an event. The probability of an event or you can even represent it in the form of say small p is equals to basic definition is number of favorable cases divided by number of possible cases number of possible cases or in short you can write this number of favorable cases as m and number of possible cases by m now let's take an example and see what find out the probability of tossing this coin you can see that it has a head and a tail now suppose if I toss the coin over here how many possible cases are there whenever you toss a coin you can either get a head or you can get a tail so in this case the number of possible cases that means the value of n over here is 2 for a coin but now what favorable cases you want now if you toss a coin just try to guess whether you want a head or a tail I'm tossing the coin now now can you guess what I have now? What is the possible cases? You can see you got head over here. So what is the possibility of getting a head? So here the case number of uh, favorable cases. So one head is possible over here out of the total number of possible cases. So possibility that you can get a head is 1 by 2. There is 50% chances that you can get a head. Similarly, if I toss a coin once again and try to observe the outcome, so you can see that it is a tail. So again, the possibility of getting a tail is the same. It is 1 by 2, 50% chances. So there are 50-50 chances of uh, getting a head or a tail. Therefore, the probability will be 1 by 2. we have got a head suppose if I take the head as H and the tail as T so whenever you toss a coin how many possibilities are there there are only two possibilities either head or tail there is no third possibility so this set is called as a sample space so sample space is represented by S S is equals to H comma so these are the two possible outcomes whenever you toss a coin. Now each of these outcomes that you have got, H and T. Now you try to see that, suppose uh, you are tossing a coin under the same circumstances. Time is the same, surrounding is the same, environment is the same. But when you toss a coin, once you are getting a head, now suppose if you are tossing a coin at the other time you are getting head, head which means that the same surrounding same atmosphere but the outcomes are different such type of experiments are called as random experiments experiments which are performed under same circumstances same surrounding same environment but you are getting a different result so what is the different result that you are getting here you are getting two different results one is head and one is tail so this type of experiments are called as random experiments now suppose if I try to assign this h uh, by some other variable say if I represent x of h X represents some variable. Suppose if I represent this uh, 
outcome head head coming of head as say one and suppose if you represent getting a tail as say zero so in that case you can write down the outcome to be getting a head as one getting a tail as zero so instead of writing h and t i'm using some uh, numbers here one comma zero i'm assigning x of h to be equals to one x of t to be equals to zero then this value of x is called as a random variable it is called as a random variable so whenever you are able to assign the outputs of a sample space by some variable maybe x maybe y or maybe z so such type of variables will be called as random variables so in this experiment that we have seen coming of head and tail there are two outcomes and we are representing the two outcomes as 1 comma 0 Let's try to see what is a discrete random variable. Discrete random variable. Now this random variable which can take finite number of numbers or values. Such type of random variables are called as discrete random variables. So if you try to see this x over here, x is taking how many values? Total number of values. It is taking one and zero, two values. So therefore, it is taking finite uh, values. Therefore, such type of variables are called as discrete random variables. Similarly, if you are uh, tossing a dice, whenever you toss a uh, dice, what are the possibility that you will be getting? Possibility of uh, rolling a die either the outcome may be 1 or may be 2 or may be 3 or may be 4 or may be 5 or 6 these are the different possibilities so now if you try to assign uh, the random variables 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so for each of these if i assign a random variables as say, x in that case how many values the random variable is taking it is taking six values finite number of values therefore such type of random variables is called as discrete random variable Now suppose if i represent the probability of the random variable the probability of random variables so suppose if i represent different random variables as say x1 x2 x3 and so on suppose if i represent this as say x1 and this as x2 Then, then the probability of a random variable will always be greater than or equals to zero. The probability of random variable will always be greater than or equals to zero. We have seen the example here. Whenever you toss a head, what is the probability of what? Probability is half. So it is greater than zero. So therefore, we can see that the probability in this case, the probability of A random variables x i will always be greater than or equals to zero. Similarly, suppose if we take the sum of all the probabilities, sum of all the probabilities, the sum of all the, if we take the sum of all the probabilities, the sum of all the probabilities will always be equals to one. If you take any case, the sum of all the probabilities will always be equals to one. Let us once again go back to the same example. We have seen half. What is this one? The probability of getting a head the probability of getting a head was what half and what is the probability of getting a tail the probability of getting a tail is also equals to half so these are the only two outcomes you will be getting if you add them half plus half what is its value equals to its value will be equals to 1 so what is the sum of all the probabilities the sum of all the probabilities is equals to 1 this is what we have over here so the summation of p of xi will always be equals to 1 then this function that we have over here there is a probability of x this probability of x is called as the probability function it is called as the probability function 
in the set of values that we have xi represents your random variable and the probability of xi represents the probability of random variables this set of values they are called as the discrete probability distribution discrete probability distribution the set of values of the random variable along with the probabilities of the random variables is called as the discrete probability distribution with respect to the random variables so random variable can be x that is what I have taken so this discrete probability distribution for some random variable x now suppose if I take the probability of a random variable probability of the random variable x this probability of the random variable is called as the probability density function it is called as probability density function or in short you can write p d f or you can even call this as the probability mass function or in short you can write as p m Suppose if we take probability of the random variable in such a way that this probability of the random variable may be less than or equal to the values of x, then if you represent this as say f of x, then this will always be equal to the sum of the probabilities as we see in the case of uh, the sum of all the probabilities is equal to 1 in the case of head and tail. Then suppose we are able to write on the probability of x less than or equal to 1 is equal to summation of p of xi. Then this distribution is called as the cumulative cumulative distribution function. Cumulative distribution function. Or in short you can write CDF. basic formulas that we require to solve the problems are the mean, mean mu is represented by so we will be using these formulas while solving the problems so mean mu will be equals to it is xi into probability of xi then you have variance v is equals to the summation of xi minus of mu whole square into p of xi then you have standard deviation standard deviation is represented by sigma is equals to is nothing but the square root of the variance these are some of the basic formulas that we will be using when solving the problems so in the next video we will try to take few problems with the random variables. Thank you.